Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby uh, we shall experience and learn together. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 14, under the topic cell physiology, under the subtopic role of uh, diffusion in living organisms. Your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. Welcome. As you are aware on our previous uh, lesson, we learned on several physiological processes. So now in this lesson, our lesson goal, we are, we are going to have by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give the role of div uh, diffusion in living organisms. If you did not watch our previous lesson on uh, 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 diffusion, um, I uh, request you, you go and watch it, because here we are going to, to give now the roles of diffusion in living organisms. Uh, we have got several roles of diffusion in living organisms and uh, just to do uh, to remind you we said that uh, diffusion uh, is this the movement of particles from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. So now we are going to look at different roles of diffusion in living organisms. The first role will be on absorption of materials. Um, so we are aware in the plants the root hair cells take up mineral salts from soil water by diffusion. This process takes place when the concentration of ions is higher in the soil water than in the root hair cells. In explaining that, uh, we have said that um, in the plants, they absorb mineral salts from the soil. And um, the mineral salts, they are in higher concentration in the soil than they are in the root hair cells. So through diffusion, they are able to be, uh, they are able to diffuse, um, to move from the region of the high concentration, which is the soil, to the region of the low concentration, which is the uh, root hair cell. Um, uh, on addition to that, uh, digested foods, for example, amino acids and uh, glucose, move across the thin wall of the ileum by diffusion into the bloodstream for transport to other parts of the animal's body. In this case, um, the digested food materials, they move across the ileum to the blood. So they are highly concentrated in the ileum, which in other, in other cases is the small intestine, to the, uh, to, the blood, um, to the blood, whereby they are lowly concentra uh, concentrated. We have another role of diffusion. Our second point is the gaseous exchange in plants and animals. We are going to have a plants take in carbon-4 oxide and gives out oxygen in the presence of sunlight during photosynthesis. Some of the oxygen is used in respiration and the excess diffuses out in the atmosphere. At night, only uh, respiration takes place and therefore plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide as a waste product. These gases pass in and out of plants through the stomata in leaves and lady cells by diffusion. Because, for example, um, when the plants are emitting or getting out uh, oxygen as a waste product, uh, the oxygen is highly concentrated in the plant than the outside. Um, than the outside, so that's why it is moving from the plants to the atmosphere. So they are uh, employing the technique of diffusion because we've said diffusion is the movement of molecules or particles from a region of the high concentration to a region of low concentration. Uh, when you get into animals, because here we are dealing with living organisms, which uh, comprise the uh, plants and animals. <coughs> we have uh, looked at uh, plants, now we are going to look uh, at animals. So in animals, several structures are used or as services for gaseous exchange um, in diffusion. The services provide a suitable respiratory services that have large service uh, uh, area, uh, for example, Efficient gaseous exchange, examples of these structures are the gills, the skin, tracheal system, and the lungs. Um, the diffusion facilitates the removal of nitrogenous waste in some freshwater unicellular organisms, for example, the amoeba. Um, we have another physiological process because I say we have several physiological processes. Now we have looked at diffusion and we can now look at uh, osmosis. 
whereby in osmosis this is a special type of diffusion that involves water molecules moving across a semi permeable membrane when you are explaining about the osmosis you must say that it, it um, a semi permeable uh, membrane is involved so uh, in simple terms you can say that um, osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of their high concentration to the region of their low concentration that is where we are referring to the water moving from a region of the high uh, concentration to a region of low concentration remember in diffusion we say that is a, it involves movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration but in this osmosis we are saying um it is movement of water molecules from a region of high concentration so we not say about water in um, in diffusion but here water is getting in is moving from region of high concentration to a region of low concentration um it can be demonstrated using a fisking tubing as you can see from our diagram here this is demonstrate osmosis using um, a fisking tubing as fisking tubing um here is a uh, special types of a uh, um semi it is semi permeable because we have said that osmosis uh, it involves semi permeability so now as we are about to uh, as we are seeing um the process of uh, osmosis can be demonstrated using two solutions of different concentrations in this case water molecules as we are from our fisking tubing eh, the experiment um uh, the fisking tubing contains both water and sugar molecules it can safely be assumed that the beaker contains a higher concentration of water molecules than the fisking tubing. The water molecules have therefore diffused from a region of higher concentration to a lower concentration, that is, into the fisking tubing, and thereby increasing its content. Besides, the wall of the fisking tubing allowed all the small water molecules to pass through, but not the larger sugar molecules. The membrane is therefore said to be um semi permeable now having done and said that we are going to have the following activity you name the solvent molecules involved in osmosis uh for further reference uh you can uh, refer to our klb secondary biology students book one which is the fourth edition at uh, the kenya literature bureau and uh, for more information uh you can conduct us by sending us an sms using the number you are seeing on the screen or you subscribe to our youtube channel which is at elimu tv or you send us a message on our facebook page at elimu tv or you send us a message on twitter at elimu tv underscore kenya thanks for watching and uh, let us uh, keep um subscribing to our channel so that we may have more and more lessons thank you